my name is Hamish Cave and we are in Natapa, which is about half an hour west of Gisborne and our farming operation consists of 2,200 hectares breeding and finishing sheep and cattle. So I've been here with a man and my wife for just over 30 odd years now. Hale and Gabrielle came through and they affected different parts of the farm. And so we had a lot of surface slips, broken fences, broken tracks, uh, broken water systems. June was probably worse in some ways because the, the land movement was very, very deep seated and it was just 25 out of 30 days of rain. You know, the guys were getting stuck on their bikes and you had to do a lot of walking. We couldn't get the material up to do the, do the repairs. We started by looking after our team on the farm, making sure that they were all okay and their families were okay. Once we got that sorted, we started on the boundary fences, secured those, and then started working our way through the farm. Just working on key barriers between sheep country, cattle country. In June, when it's the days are short and it, and it never stops raining, that really sets you back. But again, you just got to keep reminding yourself, day by day, it will pass, it will get better and the, and the sun will come again and, and you've just got to try to bite things off in small pieces. That's really up to you to make yourself get back up and surround yourself with a good team and stay connected with friends and family and share the challenges. I'm very fortunate, I've got a very supportive wife. She's got a farming background and you know, so we work through things together at the kitchen table or around the fire in the depths of the winter and talk it through, talk it through and come up with the solution and yeah. Surround yourself with a good team, you know, good, some good mates, you know, stay in touch with your bank, your accountant and those sorts of people and share, share what you're going through with your good neighbours. Just stay connected with other family. The rest of the family around the country have seen what's happened and they want to know how we're getting on, what are we doing and so it's always nice to share, share photos, tell the story. So I was here in the 85 flood as a teenager and then I was back here after university during Cyclone Bowler and I guess you've seen it all before and you know what to do and, and you realise that very quickly that it will pass and you've just got to go day by day and realise that it's a marathon not a sprint take a breath just concentrate on small things that you can do don't try to do it all at once get some help you know and get some advice from people who have been through it it will pass <laughs> <laughs>